Why don't you move to LA? Oh, for the kids, the family, the weather. P. Diddy or Diddy, whichever name he's calling himself these days, is one of the wealthiest rappers with an estimated nine-figure net worth, and music is far from his only source of revenue. With that kind of bank, the man has lived in mansions all over the US, from New Jersey to New York City and everywhere in between. However, these days, Diddy's main estate is in none other than Beverly Hills, and we're gonna take a look at his homes. We even found some of the listings. Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy, Diddy Puff Daddy, is a rapper, songwriter, singer, record producer, entrepreneur, actor, and more, who found his own label Bad Boy Entertainment back in the 90s. Of course, he's worked with the best of the best in music and built quite the empire. P. Diddy's debut album has been certified seven times platinum and he has since followed up with a handful of other successful albums, winning three Grammy Awards and other accolades along the way. Music is certainly not the only way that Diddy has earned his nine-figure fortune either. As you probably know, he's worked on plenty of business ventures from his clothing line Sean John, his own restaurant chain, and much more. Of course, he's also behind developing the Ciroc vodka brand, half of it anyways, and even has a major stake in a TV network. These days, P. Diddy is enjoying life as one of the richest rappers in the world, but clearly he's so much more than that. Whatever way you spin it, as of this year, his estimated net worth is at a whopping $885 million. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests for this one, so it was about time we did his. We'll be taking a look at where Sean Combs aka P. Diddy calls home, like his mega estate in Beverly Hills and some of his other lavish properties because the man likes nice houses. If you guys like these videos, make sure you subscribe to ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Rick Ross and Lil Wayne and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we take a look at P. Diddy's current family home in the hills, he used to spend a lot of his time in New York City and of course own an impressive property there. The rapper bought this large apartment in Manhattan back in 2005 for $3.83 million and finally sold it in spring 2017 after being on the market for a few years. Either way, he still turned a profit. Diddy's previous apartment was located in the swanky Park Imperial building in Midtown Manhattan, and it was sold for an all-cash deal. Originally configured with three beds and 3.5 baths, the new floor plans that came with the online listing materials showed the apartment having two beds and two baths now. In total, the high floor unit spans 2,300 square feet of space and offered Central Park views in an airy vibe. Walking in Diddy's previous place, you're greeted by a bedroom-sized entryway and completely closed-off eating kitchen with black granite flooring and views of the Midtown skyline. The lofty 500 square foot corner living and dining area has two full walls of floor to ceiling windows and a built in media cabinet with one of the largest TVs I've seen. Out of the condo's north facing window you can see Central Park but now the view is slightly obstructed by a 950 foot tall apartment tower. However, I'm sure while Diddy occupied the space he took advantage of the views before that happened. One of the original bedrooms here was converted into an office slash den with a walk-in wet bar installed in what used to be a bathroom. The master suite here, which of course used to be where Diddy slept, is privately situated in its own wing of the apartment and has a large bedroom with views of Central Park, five closets, two of which are walk-ins, and a luxury bathroom with heated floors. Diddy's stylish and modern New York apartment served him well for some years, but he sold it in 2017 for $5.7 million after a few price cuts. Back in 2014, Diddy made the move back to Hollywood saying that he originally moved here for the kids, the family, the weather. What's the one thing you miss the most about living in New York City? I miss the people. And I'm sure all six of his kids love this mega mansion. The home cost the rapper and businessman a whopping $40 million. Mind you, it was fully renovated right before he got his hands on it. Apparently, the LA-based luxury developer Niles Niami was the previous owner of the estate, buying it back in 2012 for just under $14 million. As expected, Mr. Niami gave the whole property a complete overhaul, getting rid of the 13,000 square foot 1930s style mansion and replacing it with an even larger, lavish European villa. Diddy's home was move-in ready and it's still where he calls home to this day. Located in the exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood of Holmby Hills, neighboring homes include the likes of the legendary Playboy Mansion and Kylie Jenner's brand new mansion too. And how would you describe your style? 
My style is Diddy's style right here, you know? I can see. P. Diddy's law spans 1.3 acres of land and inside his palatial mansion, it's 17,000 square feet with eight beds and 11 baths. The two-story custom home didn't even have a chance to be listed for long once construction was finished as the rapper snapped it up in an off-market deal. Although there were no listing photos of the interior that I could find, Diddy opened up his doors to the large property a few years back when he answered questions for Vogue. We can see he has a large open entry with spiral staircase and sparkling chandelier. Then we can catch a look at the open plan living area where there are two large living rooms and Diddy had his massive Christmas tree set up at the time of the interview. The decor here is very clean with lots of white furnishings and black accents. There's also plenty of floor to ceiling windows and glass French doors opening up to the patios outside his mansion. The main living room has a large fireplace as well and there's an attached dining area and custom eating kitchen with all the appliances you could ask for. We can also see P. Diddy's full bar in the common area where his personal bartender is serving up none other than Ciroc. Other lavish features of Diddy's custom mega mansion include a home movie theater with room for 35 guests, a fitness center, and a wine storage room. Not to mention, TMZ reported there's a separate spa pavilion with steam room, massage area, and full service beauty salon because a man like Mr. Combs does not get his toenails clipped in a public salon. Outside Diddy's massive villa, the luxury amenities just keep coming. There's a 3,000 square foot detached guest house on the property as well, complete with bedrooms, a kitchen, living area, and more. His acre of land also offers a lagoon style swimming pool and adjacent grotto, which are connected by an underwater swimming tunnel. Pretty crazy. I bet Diddy's pool could even give the famous grotto at the neighboring Playboy Mansion a run for its money. We know that the well connected rapper also loves to throw epic parties just like the Playboy Mansion used to, such as his The Real White Party fundraiser. Maybe in the near future, Diddy will open up his super gated and secure estate again and host more parties for fellow A-listers. Another spot that Diddy used to host his famous white party was his property in the Hamptons. LA is far from the only city that the man has real estate and although he still owns this mansion, it's actually available to rent. That is, if you have 225 k to spend for July until Labor Day. Money, 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 money. According to the listing, P. Diddy's Hamptons mansion is waterfront living at its finest, and that looks about right. To even own a home in the Hamptons, you have to be posh, and of course Diddy is both rich and famous, so he fits in with the crowd just fine. This glassy contemporary mansion sits on one acre of waterfront land overlooking Gardiner's Bay and the northern reaches of East Hampton, New York. Reports say Diddy bought the place way back in 1998 for $2.45 million. Of course, his Hamptons mansion is fully gated and secluded to keep paparazzi out, and there are steps down to the sandy beach from the yard. Inside, the vacation home spans 4,500 square feet of living space with four beds and 4.5 baths. It's decked out with floor-to-ceiling windows everywhere you look, it seems, hardwood flooring, and two fireplaces. There's a massive double-height living room that also has views right out to the water and a full bar, perfect for entertaining. The other fireplace is in the master suite, which has floor-to-ceiling glass onto a terrace. Other features include a cool loft style office space overlooking the main area of the home, a chef's kitchen, a den, formal dining room, and a finished basement. And if you prefer to eat with full outdoor views, there's an additional glass enclosed outdoor dining pavilion too. Other amenities in Diddy's home include a state of the art home theater, and outside you'll find the heated swimming pool surrounded by white Carrera marble. The pool house or cabana also has a full bar, kitchenette, bathroom, change room, and more. Looking at this Hamptons mansion, it's no doubt it served Diddy well for his famous white parties. I mean, it has an almost all white interior and the marble patio around the pool is even white. Not to mention both full bars in the inside and outside of the home for all the thirsty guests. So you're having a party? What song do you kick it off with? Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick, the show. You have to try that one. So now we've taken a look at hip hop mogul P. Diddy and his properties from his current mega mansion, Homeby Hills, Los Angeles, to his Hamptons estate where he used to host his famous white parties and more. Let's not forget the man still is said to own properties in Atlanta and Miami as well. In 2003, Diddy bought a seven bedroom property in Dunwoody, a suburb of Atlanta set on seven acres of land. While he was there, he owned several restaurants which have closed since and he doesn't even stay at this mansion much, if ever anymore. And he still owns a waterfront estate state on Miami Beach's fabled Star Island he picked up in late 2003 for $14.5 million. He still visits there frequently and hosts other famous friends for visits and parties. After looking at Diddy's homes, what did you guys think? Which of his mansions was your fave? As usual, be sure to let me know in those comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!